I shall not disappoint you! Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. I'll be here if you need me. Welcome, welcome! Please, come again.
So you are the tacticians brought to me by Shun Yu and Guo Jia. My name is Man Chong. My specialty lies in designing traps for castles and general defensive preparations. I am honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Shun Yu. I am an expert in battlefield tactics. I see. My army currently has nobody like either of you within its ranks. Master Cao Cao, you have many mighty warriors such as Master Dian Wei beneath you. However, in order to eventually quell the chaos, you need skilled tacticians that can guide those warriors. Master Guo Jia, Master Man Chong, Master Xun Yo, and myself, 
Each of us has our own field of expertise. Together, we can help guide you on your path forward. Excellent. I look forward to seeing just how far your talent can take me. My army is still rather small, but it has many talented warriors and strategists. I think our capability is sufficient for the task at hand. Our first move is to slay Tao Qian and obtain his lands within Shu province. I would like to hear your opinion on the situation. My lord, please forgive my impudence, but do you wish to attack Tao Qian in the name of vengeance? If that is what the world thinks, then so be it. However, the point in attacking Tao Qian is to get at the man behind him, Yuan Shu. Master Cao Cao is old friends with Master Yuan Shao. Similarly, Tao Qian is close to Yuan Shu, who is also at odds with Yuan Shao. I see where this is going. I know that we cannot make our move while our army lacks in size. However, if we do not seize this chance to take Shu province now, my journey becomes that much harder. Your journey? I seek to bring an end to the chaos and instill a new sense of order in the land. In order to do so, I must overcome the chaos through sheer military might. A new sense of order. So, attacking Shu province is the first step in making that a reality. I understand what you mean now. Of course you must deal with the coward Tao Qian. You can make your move and cause him to think you wish to talk. At the same time, you place an army behind him. That actually makes things quite simple. We attack where their defenses are the weakest. Haha, <laughs> Tao Qian won't know what hit him. I see. With that supposition in mind, let us speak of tactics. Shun Yo, what are your thoughts on the matter? First, I think we need to dispatch an army to put down the resistance within Qing province. You mean, the former members of the Yellow Turbans that are terrorizing the area? How... Does that relate to our attack on Shu province? If you make a move, Tao Qian will think it is for revenge. If he truly is the coward Master Manchong suggests he is, he will hope to parlay with you. Once he approaches the front lines, that is your chance to slay him. Even if you fail, it will slow him down, enabling an auxiliary unit to strike his flank. Interesting. I like it. We shall proceed with your proposal. Many lives are likely to be lost on this path. However, it is a pain we must endure to end the chaos. Everybody, I ask that you join me in search of the greater good. Let's go. We shall slay Tao Qian and bring Shu province under our control. Hmm. Cao Cao's gaze is turned outward. He does not appear to notice what is happening within his own ranks. Then now is my chance! The name Cheng Gong will soon be known across the land! We will slay Tao Chia and seize control. to make it a reality, though. You have to...
to be kidding. What can I get for you? Please, come again. This isn't good. <clears throat> the bridge is being held by Tao Qian's army. 
We will have to remove them if we wish to cross to the other side. This is to finally bring an end to the chaos. We must succeed no matter what obstacles stand in our way. The death of Master Cao Song was not ordered by Master Tao Chet. Please, will you allow us to explain? There is no need. We are here for the sole purpose of defeating you in battle. I must challenge my limits! Excellent! Crush all opposition with overwhelming strength. It seems that is Master Cao Cao's way. You have no ear for reason. What will happen to Shu Province now? I must challenge my limits! Excellent! Invasion fueled by rage? That's pathetic. I will never give Shu Province to you. In that case, you leave us no choice but to defeat you in battle. We must obtain this land, no matter what the cost. So sorry. I can't anybody. We have managed to secure the bridge. Now, let's make our way to Pang Castle. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious. You are very skilled. It is an honor to fight alongside you. South South's father, but unsurprisingly, was executed anyway. I just can't forgive Tao Tao. I'm not going to fight any longer. I must challenge It's time to take the attack to the enemy. This is a strategic position for this battle. We must defend it without fail. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! We must capture that position! I'm relying on everyone to do their best here! Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move! Yeah. is too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. Position. I'm relying on everyone to do their best here. The people of Shu Province look simple lives of peace and prosperity. Until Master Cao Cao came and took all that away. Bringing turmoil to the lives of the innocent is a crime I cannot overlook. 
Master Cao Cao. No. Cao Cao. Prepare yourself. Uh, I had no idea Tao Tao's forces were so powerful. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more, brother. No! What will happen to Shu Province now? What about it? They may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! You are no ordinary fighter, now are you? What about this? You are very skilled. It is an honor to fight alongside you. Welcome, welcome! Do please. Come again. We shall defend this position, not allow a single enemy through. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! I wanted to avoid conflict with Bossman, but it seems I will have to be prepared to go to battle after all. This man is driven by hatred, and wages war to satisfy his desire for vengeance. I cannot let him take control of Shu Province. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Vendetta. How could I lose to such a man? I am willing to be reviled. If that is the price I must pay to continue on my path. Neil Bay gave us a bit of trouble, but we've managed to mostly pare down Tao Qian's forces. The enemy moved just as Master Man Chong and Master Shun Yo anticipated. It sure helps to have quality strategists on your side. Yes. Our forces have become more powerful than I imagined possible. It is only a matter of time before Shu Province falls to our onslaught. 
My lord! It's... it's Lubu! Yan province is under attack by Lubu's forces! Curse that Lubu. He could not have picked a worse time to invade. In response to Lubu's attack, castles throughout Yan province are defecting to his side. Upon hearing the news, Lord Shaho Dun and Lord Shun Wu have already set out for Yan province. Defecting? You mean the castle lords have turned their back on Master Cao Cao? So, Lu Bu was the source of my premonition. I wonder if my uncle is okay. I never expected Lu Bu to invade Yan province at a time like this. Although, he is usually one to rely on brute force, not such refined strategy. They defected due to Lobo's presence? I could understand them surrendering, but to immediately switch sides like that, there's something strange going on here. Hmm. It appears somebody has moved against us. Shu province was just within our grasp. Now we have no choice but to deal with this situation first. Everybody, we must quickly return to Shu Chang. I want Lubu driven from Yan province immediately. I bring news. Ding Chao has fallen and Master Li Qian has been slain. Most of the castles throughout Yan province have fallen to the Bu's forces. Uh, Uncle, I promise that I shall avenge your death. That leaves only Sha Ho Dun and Shun Wu in Juen Castle. We must send them reinforcements right away. No, Master Cao Cao. Juen Castle will be able to hold out for a little while as long as those two are defending it. Hmm. Shunyo, do you concur? Yes, I agree with Master Guojia. I think our first move should be to take back Ding Tao. It's settled then. We will head to Ding Tao. Once it has been reclaimed, we will send aid to Shahodun at Juen Castle and then confront Lu Bu at Pu Yang. Let's go! This is the moment when we take back Yan province from Lu Bu and his men. Forward! Those that cannot keep up will be cut down where they stand!
I wasn't expecting to be pushed back so easily. Shun Yu, we must protect this castle at all costs. Very well, Master Shaho Doom. We shall hold our position until the reinforcements arrive. <laughs> Take out the enemy in Juan Castle! Rush them down! The time has come to face the enemy! Everyone, follow my lead! This is a strategic location. It must be defended with our lives. We're advancing. Everyone, follow my lead! Challenge my lead! You're finally here. Sorry for the trouble. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. It's too much for me to overcome. I will retreat for now and regroup. Somehow they managed to hold off our assault. All units, prepare to retreat! Somehow we have been able to hold out here. But if Lu Bu takes the field, we are going to need another strategy. Hmm. Right. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> Master Shah Hodun! Don't get excited. It's just an eye. At best, it only saw the enemies right in front of it. But you, you strategists, you see the entire battlefield. You will be my eye, and I will fight. I understand. And now... How to repel Lu Bu and his forces.
Your assistance will enable us to take the offensive now. Lu Bu and Chen Gong are mere beasts who know not of morals nor righteousness. I will slay all who look to stand in South Way! I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! QA Jean, why do you have low self-esteem? You need to be more confident. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Yeah. Follow me! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Hey. Leaving this place <laughs> undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. Men of Cao Cao's army. I'm afraid this castle now belongs to Master Lubu. Please make your exit in a swift and efficient manner. Thank you. I'm sick of you shameless traitors. This place belongs to my lord. Leave at once! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! They've made it a fair way inside. It looks like I must think of something quickly. I have no need of strategy. All I need to do is crush these maggots beneath my heels. Better use by us. I must challenge my limits. Excellent. Preparations complete. Preparations complete. I am not finished yet. I fight to bring glory to our forces! QA Jean, why do you have such a low self-esteem? You need to be more confident. Hmm. This battle bores me. You can have your pathetic castle. Okay! We've won this battle! It's quite a relief that we were able to take back Puyang. We successfully reclaimed Yan province from Lubu. It is all thanks to you, Sha Hodun and Shun Yu. Hmm. We are not worthy of your praise. Lu Bu was our main target, and we failed to capture him. No, Master Sha Hudun. Given the circumstances, Lu Bu himself was not the most important thing. The problem was all of the castles across Yan province that defected to Lu Bu's side. Master Cao Cao displayed his strength in Shu province. However, it was not enough to convince the people to follow him. Do you agree, Master Shunyo? Yes. The people do not put their faith in power, but justice and righteousness. Much like the campaign against the Yellow Turbans who opposed the Han, or the coalition to combat Dong Zhuo, who disrespected the emperor and terrorized the people. I see. 
So displaying our sense of righteousness along with our strength can go a long way in gaining the understanding and support of the people. My lord, I bring news. Emperor Xian has escaped from Li Jue and Guo Xi and is requesting assistance at Luoyang. Ha <laughs> ha, what excellent timing. My lord, we should assist the emperor and take him under our protection. Nothing could be more righteous than that. Although, if we are to aid the emperor, we must do so quickly. I am certain that the other warlords are thinking the exact same thing. Yes, I agree. As soon as our preparations are complete, we shall head to Luoyang. Hey, Shun Yo! You're pretty quiet for being a strategist. I thought you guys simply gave our Lord good ideas without having to be prodded. Easy now, Master Dian Wei. Master Shun Yo has his reasons. He once proposed a plot to his friends and was ultimately imprisoned for it. So he prefers to practice caution. No inadvertent words or ideas. In fact, his careful nature is perhaps his best attribute. Yeah, but there's no need for caution here. It's not like any of us are gonna turn against him. We were just betrayed by Master Chen Gong. It is wise to learn from our brushes with misfortune. I see. I guess you're right. Although, it all makes me kind of sad. I'm going to get the first kill! Ah, uh, Master Cao Cao. It is good to see you. Come, His Imperial Highness awaits you. It seems... Dong Zhuo caused even more destruction here in Luoyang than previously imagined. There are many problems with leaving the Imperial Court in Luoyang. The least of which is its inadequate defenses. The Emperor would be much safer in Xuchang. Hmm, Xuchang. His Imperial Highness has many strong connections to Luoyang, but I suppose sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Let us go greet him. My Lord! An army led by Li Jue and Guo Xi has been spotted west of Luoyang. It appears a number of their troops are already inside the city. What? Curse those wretched traitors. They must be planning to abduct the Emperor. Master Dong Chen, time is of the essence. We must see to it that the Emperor flees Luoyang at once. Cao Cao, Yuan Shao's army has taken a position at Pulau Gate. He has placed Yan Liang and Wen Chao in the vanguard and seems to be welcoming our challenge. He must have known we were planning to place the Emperor under our protection and decided to overcome us with brute force. A fairly impressive move for Yuan Shao. If we can break through Li Zhue's forces to the west of Luoyang, we can make our way to Shuchang. Manchung, what's it look like to the south? In the south, there is Master Young Feng, formerly of the White Wave Bandits. If I recall correctly, he served Li Ju, but now appears to be protecting the Emperor. 
I have not heard good things about Master Young Feng. However, I do have an old friend within his army. I believe we could turn to him for assistance. Hmm. A friend of yours, you say? What is his name? His name is Master Xu Huang. He is a rather strange individual who is obsessed with his training, but I assure you that he can be trusted. Very well. Man Chang, let us call upon your friend. At present, we have Li Zhui behind us and Yuan Shao before us. It is likely there are more enemies to come. However, we cannot let them kidnap the Emperor. Everybody, let's go! We must safely escort His Imperial Highness to Xuchang. Your Highness, I am Cao Cao. I have come to escort you to safety. There are certain to be many threats along the way. First, I must take you to a safe location within Luoyang. Oh, you have come for me. I place myself in your hands. Thank you. Is that the Emperor's carriage? Stop! Show us who's inside! It seems we cannot lose our pursuers. We have no choice but to turn and face them. What about this? Too strong! We can't do a thing! Okay, we have secured our safety. Resume the advance. Emperor and go. What about this? Halt, you villains. You'll die before you lay a finger on his Imperial Highness. We're finished. Forced to return without anything to show for it. Okay, we have secured our safety. Resume the advance. This hand the emperor over. Many others desire the emperor. Good luck fighting them all. We have managed to secure Luo Yang. Now we just need to open a path to Xu Cheng. I fight to bring glory to our forces! Very good. I shall remember your efforts. We can protect you from here, Your Highness. Please, hide along with your bodyguards. I shall come for you after we have cleared a path. Please, be patient until then. I am most grateful. I hope you will continue to serve me faithfully.
There are many in addition to Guoxi and Yuan Xiao who would target the Emperor. We need to take him into our custody as soon as possible. This position, I shall personally see to its defense. Now, take defensive positions. The capture of that area is our goal. Secure it. We will take the enemy spirit as well. Now you must challenge my limits! Excellent! It's about time we got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. I'm so sorry. I'm surprised Cao Cao's forces are so strong. The Emperor is in good hands. of the Emperor is far too great a task for you. Leave the rest to me, Cao Cao. I cannot do that. The Emperor is necessary for me to realize my ideals for the land. What? You mean you would use the Emperor for your own nefarious ambition? You! Our 
every bit as bad as Dong's War. UN Chao reinforcements incoming from the other bank. Stop them at the pier. <laughs> I must challenge my limits! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Infinite fool! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. I must challenge my limits! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. What is this madness? How could I be bested by the likes of Cao Cao? I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! Very good. I shall remember your efforts. will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Come, and face me! of land. Prepare to move. I must challenge my limits. Excellent. I shall pull back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. I fight to bring glory to our forces. You. No ordinary fighter, now are you? We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. It's about time we got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. Cao Cao have the audacity to take the Emperor under his protection. Does he have no notion of propriety? You won't make it through here. Not one piece. Give up your traitorous plans. I must challenge my limits! Excellent! Yuan Shao is the one worthy to be the Emperor. Give him to us at once! I must challenge my limits! Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! It's about time we got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause.
great strength. Challenge for life! I fight to bring glory to our forces! Very good. I shall remember your efforts. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Oh, the path has opened up. You have my gratitude. Please don't mention it, Your Highness. I am simply relieved to see that you are unharmed. Your Imperial Highness, we are trying to erect your palace as quickly as possible. We ask that you please be patient for a little while longer. Very well. Thank you, Tso, Tso. If only I had been stronger, it would not have had to come to this. Although, I must inquire as to why you agreed to help me. I was powerless to stop Dong Zhou's tyranny. I did it so that we can bring an end to the chaos. In order to do so, I will require your strength, Your Highness. My strength? Currently, the land is overrun with various warlords thirstily grasping for power and influence. If there is no one who can control them and bring about a new world order, the chaos of the land will never end. A combination of intellect and might will be necessary to bring these warlords under control, and the majesty of your position is needed to calm the people. So you're saying we can work together to return peace to the land? I was unable to take action when Dong Zhuo looked to seize the power of my throne. No, I didn't even try to take action. However, it is clear to me now that there is much to be done. Cao Cao, if I can be of any help to your cause, then I will be honored to do so. Thank you, Your Highness. I appreciate your generosity more than you know. <laughs>